Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking Thursday flips and what's going to be going on today with the market. Of course, it's Wednesday, more Champions League games going on. We had a crazy day yesterday with Champions League fixtures, with cards moving up and down in terms of teams winning, teams losing, and what that means for upgrades, potential upgrades, and the like. So we're going to talk about that and of course, what players you might be able to buy for Thursday flipping after rewards this week which we need to talk about because these players right here, team of the group stage, actually go out of packs on Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. They go out a day early, which is, has some people thinking about some different possibilities. And then one ba major thing we're going to talk about today is an area where a lot of people are going to be looking to invest in the next 24 to 48 hours. And I want you to get in early, and that is SBC fodder because stuff has dropped, stuff is low, er, lower than it was. And we have a big promo coming called footmas on the horizon so that's a lot of sbcs we're going to talk about that as well not to mention player of the month bruno pl other player of the months coming out soon since we are in a new month at the moment so let's first take a look at some stuff that we could be buying this week now of course you might be watching this and team of the week might be out already but a lot of times we're watching this before the actual team of the week is released so uh zaha sun muller pogba a lot of premier league cards in this next team of the week and it's looking pretty decent if i'm being honest a lot of big name players in here if this is the actual team of the week or if it looks uh similar to this this looks pretty good right a couple nice cards in here we're watching the zaha right zaha is a very interesting one and quadrado because i think quadrado is almost a lock and we've had some instances earlier this year where a rule breaker card has been pretty expensive on the market and a new team of the week card comes in and it undercuts that and the card is, you know, not the exact same in terms of the stats, um, but similar, and it makes it drop. If I have a Quadrado Rule Breaker right now, I might be selling it because this new Quadrado uh, Rule Breaker, or the new Inform, uh, will have less defense and less physical than this does. This has 70 physical. The new Inform is probably going to have high 60s. This has 83 dribbling. The Inform is probably going to have 90, but the defense will be the difference. The Inform will probably have somewhere around mid 70s defense. And this has 82. So I still think though, that this, that's, uh, the Rule Breaker Quadrado would probably drop because an Inform Quadrado with less defense is probably going to be somewhere around 100,000 coins or so, maybe even a bit less. So definitely watch this card for a potential drop today. And then Zaha as well is another interesting one that I want to point out because he already has an Inform. He's actually, his Inform right now is kind of cheap. It's about 160k uh, on the market at, whoa, 150? Hello? Is that there? A casual 10k undercut on the Zaha is literally just chilling, uh, and I can't buy it because I have <laughs> I have 90,000 coins. Well, shoot. Uh, but a lot of people are watching this card because he is going to get a new inform today, I think. It's either Zaha or Benteke getting an inform for the uh, Palace game from last weekend. Just like with Holland's second inform, right? The first inform gets sold, right? It gets panic sold a little bit. The new one comes out. What could happen today is one of two things. Number one option is the new Zaha Inform. The price range is like 500K or that new Zaha Inform 86 rated stays above 350 to 400,000 coins first day. That would make this card probably bounce back a little bit if that card is rare right away. If there's no tradable pack supply, that's going to be one thing that would make the new Zaha Inform, if it comes out, not hit the market that much. And that could make this Zaha bounce back, right? If I see 150 for this, that's a big buy on the PlayStation for me uh, because I do think there is potential for a rebound there. Maybe back to 170, 175. If um, he either doesn't get in Team of the Week or if that new card comes out onto the market very expensive or it's extinct. We never know what's going to happen. Every single Wednesday, it's there's new and interesting things with price ranges and stuff during Team of the Week. So just keep an eye on the Zaha because he is a very... He's a very solid after striker in this game with the five-star skills, Premier League, uh, pretty solid card in this game. So let's again talk about Thursday flips this week, stuff that you could buy, right? A lot of people right now are rocking untradeable teams, and that's why we're going to be focusing around some of the cards that have had objectives and SBCs lately that have been very completed by a lot of people, right? Coman, team of the group stage, French, left wing. A lot of people are doing this card because it's a 90, 95 pace French left wing in the Bundesliga. A lot of people have also done this Bayerine, which I think might make some Premier League links go up, some Spanish links go up, of course, uh, since a lot of people have that card. 
I don't know how many people are actually going to be using like their Air Divisi guys in weekly this weekend, but I'm focusing on a few different things this weekend because also so many people have done the Joao Felix SBC. Now, a lot of stuff that links with Joao Felix is already up, right? Carrasco was 33K on Monday. He's now up to 36,000 coins, I believe. So unless you see like some sort of a little bit of panic today, and a little bit of a drop off or maybe an undercut or two. Yes, this Carrasco could go up a little bit more, um, but a lot of the links to um, a lot of the links that people would use to link up with Joao Felix are already inflated a lot. This Yorente in form is two hundred and thirty thousand coins. This guy was like one eighty last weekend. The rule breaker Yorente is like three hundred thousand coins at the moment. Um, 303. Sometimes he dips under 300 and it's actually kind of a buy. Uh, but these cards, have, I think they're pretty inflated already. Yes, they could, could go up a little bit more just because so many people have done Joao Felix. But I'm trying to find some other some other cards that might be interesting to me in terms of, you know, La Liga links or Portuguese links. Um, I guess there's a couple icons out there. I was thinking about Porto, but of course, um, people are going to be buying up the uh, poor two card, if they're going to link him with um, a new player of the month, Joao Felix, that they have just completed for the Sp Spanish League La Liga links, this poor two guy plays on Thursday uh, in the Europa League. So we could see his price go drop because of Sociedad not going through. That's kind of a risk here with this buy. So if you do want to buy some stuff that would link to Joao Felix, I think the Jimenez card is up already too. Just be careful with it, I guess. Um, I would just focus on maybe some meta other cards like uh, Sergio Ramos, maybe some people might just be rocking um, La Liga teams this week. So a guy like Sergio Ramos, only 59,000 coins with a shadow is not a bad buy for me. A lot of the golds actually dropped today in price. The ones that are in packs because we had UEFA marquee matchups while those games were going on. 51K for Joe Gomez, man. 51K, look at this drop, man. Joe Gomez was 58,000 coins today before the content drop. Champions League marquee matchups come out. The guy's down to 51,000 coins. Uh, guys like, I think, Hyunmin Sun. Uh, Gomez was 50K on the weekly sell-off. Went back up to 58. Now he's back down to 51. Sun was at 60. I think he was at 60 high. And then now he's mid-60s. This Pogba card is one I want to talk about because he is in Team of the Week predictions. A lot of people are buying this card up as an out-of-packs investment. If somehow Pogba doesn't get in, that's going to crash. Although other than that, I think it's, I mean, if Pogba wasn't going to get in team of the week, it's a really solid investment because again, I love the French links. Varane, 226. He was just under 220K. That's a buy at the right price. Rashford's out of packs. He's going to get invested in. He's already up about 10,000 coins a piece on his card as well. So just be careful with that one. Um, and then maybe some other French cards, uh, you know, like, uh, Maybe Ben Yedder, possibly, right? Low rated, but still a card a lot of people want to use. And then, of course, we look at all the out of packs informs, right? Alex Teixeira, this guy goes to like 220K every day. He's 234 right now. That's Brazil. That's good links right there. Not a bad card. This Ali Watkins has a cheap prem inform as a W. Insigne with a very cheap and decent value in Mobley SBC out right now. I don't mind that card as a Thursday flip investment at all. Um, so again, just take a look at some of these out of packs informs and some of the really meta golds this week. You know, some of the guys that rise up every week, this inform Konate card was, I believe like 48,000 coins after awards last week. And right now I think he's like 44 or 45 K. If you see this guy, I bought some today at like the 42 range or 40 to 42 range. And I flipped them for like 45 to 46 K during the, the day. If this guy gets back down at all into the low forties, that's a buy for sure. Again, Price might be a little bit different on Xbox, but you know the drill. Um, use the flipping graphs to kind of compare those prices um, for sure. That could be a good buy this week. And then I am a huge fan of this guy right here because he goes up like 10,000 coins every weekend. It's Ali Watkins. And this guy gets incredible lazy sales too because people have a hard time finding his second inform because the first inform gets in the way because they're both team of the weeks and it's hard to distinguish, right? I'm searching right now at 70K. How many pages of supply do we have? At 72,000 coins, we have two, two pages? 
Three pages? All right, we have, we have a lot of uh, overnights, but this guy at like 65K on the PlayStation is a buy. I think he's about the same price on Xbox as well. I got three of those today at 65,000 coins. They're on my transfer list at the moment. Watch open bids on those cards today too. That'd be something you could watch for, uh, for sure. But I do expect a market rise. I really do because so many people are running untradeable teams, but uh, they have to fit in a few pieces, right? Some of those French players, some of those Brazilians, Premier League, Meta, La Liga cards as well. Just the stuff that goes up every week. That's the stuff I think you can expect to rise this week, right? Kind of plain and simple. Nothing really crazy about it. Depends on who gets in team of the week as well. We might possibly have some link investments there that we could um, make some buys to uh, there. I want to talk about team of the group stage cards next because they are in packs. They're in packs right now, but they're going out of packs on Thursday. Wow. Holland just went from like 270 to 280 in like um, 10 minutes. So some of these cards, De Bruyne was just 450. He's now 475. Some of these guys look like they got low from marking matchup supply. And now they're maybe bouncing back a little bit into the day on Wednesday. With the high pack weight on these cards and with the uncertainty of what is going to be coming next in foot, I don't even think I'm going to be investing in these cards out of packs. At rewards time on Thursday, since their pack weight is so high, I would expect these guys to take a hit in price. And if I'm going to take a guess and take a stab at any of these cards that would even rise up in a very short time frame after a pack supply, it would be the guys that fluctuate around a lot already. Teo Hernandez is 250,000 coins right now. This would probably be my best bang for the buck buy out of this new set of special cards. Um, because this dude goes between 235 and 250 just about every single day. And that's a very nice flippable range. Actually, it goes higher than 250, 256, I think 257. You could probably get sales at. Yeah, man, look at this what two pages at 257. So, I mean, this is a French left back with 96 pace. People are going to use this card, uh, for a long time. If he gets hit with supply rewards, which I would expect to happen, that would be a card I keep a close watch on. Same thing with Diego Carlos, partially because um, we're going to be having an upgraded Kunde because Sevilla did make it through. So this Friday, when they do road to the final upgrades, this uh, guy is going to be linking to the newly upgraded 84 rated Kunde. Definitely keep an eye on him because that's a nice green link between those two. Brazilian and French links, of course, for the backside of the team as well. And uh, that'd be a card that people have on tradable, right? So they wouldn't have to go out and buy two center backs. They could just go out and buy this new objective or not objective. They could play with their objective Kunde with this Diego Carlos. So I think this guy could bounce if he gets hit at rewards um, as well. You, you want to see a dip. You don't want to just buy these cards. You want to see a dip at rewards. Kind of like we talk about with the new team of the week. They get hit with supply, then they bounce back. I want to see that same thing go on with these cards right here. But I'm not going to be investing in them because I just think they're very supplied. I'm worried with the new promos and stuff that are coming. And just the state of this game right now is uh, it's kind of dead. If I'm being completely honest, it is kind of dead. So that kind of stuff um, I'm going to stay away from. One thing a lot of people are going to be doing, though, and this is the next thing I want to talk about, SBC Fodder. Yes, you heard me correctly. Marquee matchups today, or yesterday on Tuesday, dropped a lot of the fodder market. Now, it is starting to rebound a little bit because people have taken notice and they're starting to buy. Now is the time as we head into a foot miss promotion. Um, there's also, by the way... A slight bit of talk, there's a FIFA mobile promotion called Freeze, which started yesterday on Tuesday or, or today on Wednesday, one of those two days. Somebody said that there might be a possibility we get a Freeze promotion in FIFA and because a lot of times what they do is they bring FIFA mobile promos into FIFA Ultimate Team. That's not a leak. That's not anything. There's really no you know science or like science. There's no... um. There's nothing behind that, right? It's just hearsay. So I don't think that's actually going to happen, but I guess there's a possibility if they wanted to like rebrand Footmas and include something else called Freeze, they could do that too. But that's a FIFA mobile promo that's going to be going on. And I guess it could happen in Foot too. So I just wanted to speak that out there just so that you hear those words and uh, not to panic or anything, but just maybe don't be super surprised if that would come to FIFA maybe this year, maybe next year, who knows. But SBC Fodder is a great club stock option right now. A lot of these guys have really good links. They're really cheap, right? Ziyech, 
Prem, Cam, 9.4 thousand coins. Pjanic, 9.6K. Uh, we were looking at Skriniar. Nabry is a right mid, 10,000 coins with the links that he has in the position that he's in. He was 13K on the Xbox earlier last week. Um, a lot of these cards, especially some of the 87s, man. 80, 85s, 84s, anything from 84 to 88, honestly, I like as a footmas club stock investment, but I specifically like the 85s and 86s, I think, and maybe the 87s. You know, the 84s are going to fluctuate around a lot too. The ones that have really good links, we're going to be getting, if it's if footmas is normal this year as it has been in years past, we're going to get new SBCs every single day. And usually one out of three of those SBCs is like good value or like some people do it that day. So that what that's going to do is the cards that are needed for those chemistry, right? The high chemistry. So center backs, uh, left back, right backs, right wings, left wings, maybe some center mids. Um, those cards for SBC fodder are going to stay higher and they're going to maintain a higher price because they're going to be more constantly uh, demanded because of their chemistry link. So if you get in early, if you get in now, guys like Godin, guys like Rodri possibly, you know, a left back Grimaldo, left back Tagliafico, Guerrero as a left mid is a big one for me. Alba, Jordi Alba is a left back, 18,000 coins. People use this card in their team, man. And this guy was 25,000 coins on the Xbox, 22K on the PlayStation. He's back down to 18K on the PlayStation, 20 on the, the Xbox. Uh, especially for Xbox, in, you know, or especially for PlayStation, even on Xbox too, even though these cards are, you know, not as low as they were earlier, uh, we have more SPCs that are out in the game now, which is more demand for them. Um, and more people are investing in them. So that's going to keep their prices higher. There's just generally more demand. Um, so I don't think that you have to wait and see, you know, a card like Carvajal, who's 19K, you know, he's not going to go back to 15K again, unless we get some sort of massive massive pack opening spree something going on he was 22k and 25k on both consoles he's back down at 1920 um you know part of me says wait for rewards because you know you're going to get some supply on the market and you might see these guys drop but as we're seeing on the market already people are starting to buy out these cards index 86 from today is slowly climbing upwards after marquee matchups for a couple hours during champions league it was low and people started buying and it's starting to trickle back up. And I think that is going to continue. So if you're just doing a club stock, you're throwing some cards in the club because you know footmas is coming and you either want to be able to do an SBC for cheaper in the future or uh, you want to try to make some coins off of a passive investment in your club. I think now is a perfect time to invest in some of these 84 to 86s, 87s, even some of the 88s. But again, as some people pointed out tonight in the stream, a lot of the 88s, like Footmas last year, we didn't have many SBCs that were really requiring 88 rated squads. A lot of them were, you know, lower rated 84, 85, 86 rated squads. So for some of these 88s, yes, they are down, but you have to think about it. What's going to make these go back up to what they were? Like 40,000 coins is where they were at. But what's going to make them go back up to that, right? It's going to take a, a base icon SBC, most likely some sort of big time you know, if Bruno player of the month comes out and he is like in incredibly cheap, then possibly you'll see some of these 88 rise, uh, 88 rise. They're not a bad club stock at all. I just like the 84s to 86s better for a short term foot miss and um, SBC investment because most of these the um, SBCs we see coming out are in that range of rating. So that's kind of how I feel about rewards today, man. That's kind of how I'm feeling about the market. I guess today on Wednesday, we could possibly, possibly see a loading screen. Very, very small, minute chance of that happening, in my opinion. But I guess it is very possible that we could see that happening. They've been dropping the loading screens earlier uh, recently um, on Wednesdays. And then again, Thursday, we'll talk about this maybe a little bit more tomorrow night. But with, this, with these cards going out of packs on Thursday, is there a shot that we get more cards in packs on Thursday? like Team of the Year nominees or something else coming into packs on Thursday. That would be very interesting if that happens. So we'll keep our eyes out for that, see if EA gives us any more info on that content um, for this week. And by the way, EA, fix your uh, your text color over here on the right column because I cannot read that. That's terrible. Anyway, uh, yeah, boys, that's kind of the video for today. I am like kind of invested already for some of my Thursday flips. I've got a Road to the Final Hazard card. Of course, we didn't really talk about Road to the Finals in this video, um, but 
Rashford is down, of course, because United are down to Europa League. Klosterman is up, right? Because a lot of um, a lot of uh, people bought that card for the upgrade. My advice again is if you're gonna buy a card today, if you're gonna mess around with either Hazard or with Zakaria with those two teams, Mochen Gladbach and um, Shakhtar with Tyson, Real Madrid with Hazard, just be careful with them. You know, you can try to trade with the hype today, mess around with some of those. Like Hazard, I think, is going to boom if Real Madrid score. Um, but we'll see what happens. Same thing with like Tyson, he would boom. Muriel would be one to watch today. Promez, of course, be very careful with that card today. Um, he's inflated for the uh, objective links and then also for the potential for them to win and go through. But they have to win to go through. Just keep that in mind. So we'll see more big time movements on those cards today as well. I've already bought a couple of my flips. I got these Joe Gomez, as I said, in the low 50s. And then I do have a Zaha that I got on stream on bid for 146. I'm just going to try to quick flip that and get that out. But again, you saw me buy these at 65K on stream. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get hopefully like 73 to 75 for those for a Thursday flip. And then uh, I traded with some of these today, bought them at low 40s. Uh, this was what I bought on Sunday night, sold it for 547 today. So we'll clear those. And we're ready for the next day of FIFA Ultimate Team with more flips. All right, boys. That's the Thursday Flipping Investments video guide today. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.